Okay, five scenarios. Let's have a look. <clears throat> we'll walk through these five steps one at a time, okay? Ten spots, ten people to fill them with, but five of them are boys and five are girls. Okay, simple enough, right? So let's do the first one, the simplest one, which looks just like the one we just did, okay, just a bigger table. For A, no restrictions, okay, how many weight? Well, either you can think of, hmm, I will place the first person, place them somewhere, anywhere you like, one, right? And then I have nine left to place, right? So then you multiply by nine factorial. Or alternatively, the first way you thought about it, you have 10 spots, 10 things to fill in with, 10 factorial, but you've overcounted because you can rotate a whole bunch of them and they're the same. But you get the same answer either way. I'm not particularly interested in what 9 factorial is equal to, more than the fact that we built it by getting 9 factorial. Your calculator can do the rest. Okay. Now the conditions begin. Okay, boys and girls, what if we wanted to alternate it for maximum boy-girl germ problems? Okay, well, <laughs> if you wanted them to alternate, I start the same way, okay? I'm going to place someone and I'm going to fix their position. Now, would you like to pick a boy or a girl? A boy, of course. The boy is there first, okay? Now, once you've placed the boy, okay, let me, for instance, put him here, okay? Now, don't forget, you know, I put him here, but I could put him anywhere and they're all the same. So it's not like, oh, this one's different to having him over here. Same scenario, okay? Now, have a look. This is different to my first scenario because now I don't just have nine people who can sit anywhere. I want to think probably about the, the rest of the boys first. I've got four boys left, okay? But they can't just sit anywhere, can they? Right? For instance, they can't sit here or here or here. You get the idea. How many places can they sit in? And the answer is there are four potential spots left, namely here, 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 and here, okay? So now I have four spots and four boys to fill them with. So how many ways can I do that? Four factorial. Okay? And then the girls come along. Five spots, five girls to fill them with. Five factorial. Simple stuff. Okay. All right. C. What if, what if everyone has a partner? Boys and girls are all matched up and they want to sit together. Okay, so they're all in couples, right? Now you can think about this a couple of different ways. You can think, hmm, okay, I'm going to place someone first, and then there'll have to be a specific, you know, place a boy, then there'll have to be a specific girl next to them, <laughs> and then I've got to place another specific, but it starts to get confusing very fast, okay? So how can we think about this in a better way that will make this kind of step really easy, right? Well, think about it like this. Uh, there are five couples, right? Five couples, and as anyone who has friends who are couples knows, sometimes it can be very hard to pull couples apart. In fact, with this situation, they are practically inseparable. You actually can't take them apart, right? So they really function as single units, right? Each couple is a unit, okay? So therefore, you no longer have five boys and five girls that you can think of separately. What you really have is five couples. This is the unit that I'm going to place, okay? So now, let me divide up, let me get rid of these boys for a second, okay? Your first couple walks up, right, arm in arm, okay? And clearly, they're going to sit together. They're gonna to occupy seats that are next to each other, right? So for instance, I'm going to place them here. There's a couple, okay? Now, think, the next couple that comes along, right, because all the couples have to sit together, a couple can't sit in these spots over here. Can you see that? You see why? Because then there will be something that will break the whole couple arrangement, right? So therefore, the next couple arrangement only has a few spots they can sit in. They could sit here, there's a potential spot, or they could sit here, or you're starting to get the point. Okay? So what I have is not really a table with 10 chairs. Actually, I have a table with five slots for couples. Does that make sense? Five slots for couples, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place the first couple. Now I don't have to worry about the circular spinning around rotating thing, okay? And then I have to place the other four couples. How many ways are there to arrange four couples? Four factorial. Okay, 
But then, of course, there are more arrangements than this, right? Because, for instance, let's have a look at that first couple who we placed, right? The boy could sit on the left and the girl could sit on the right, or they could switch. Okay? Now, not only can that first couple switch, they can all switch, and there's no problems, right? So, here I have, how many ways can I do the boy and the girl together? Answer two factorial, right? Two factorial ways for that couple, and two factorial ways for this couple, and you're starting to get the idea, right? So in fact, I have undercounted by a factor of two factorial, which is just two, to the power of, well, how many couples are there? And the answer is five. So it'll be 32 times 24, whatever that is, okay?